Hello there. Welcome. Welcome to the 30 Days of Conscious Partnership. Here we go. Here we go. We are the Freemans. And if you haven't heard one of our videos, who we are, are authors, speakers, and social entrepreneurs. And what we're really here for is to be ambassadors for partnership. Not that it's just us, that, but through our content, through our sharing, we all become ambassadors for partnership because that's what life is really about. Yes, love partnership. And today's topic we're really excited about because we know many of you who are connected to us haven't yet found your partner. And so we want to really connect with you about this, about attracting your mate. Ooh. A new way to date. That's today's topic. And I'll give you, you know, my story because people see us now and they're like, but how did you meet each other? And you're so great together. Is that luck? Right? People think it's luck. So we want to talk about attracting your mate. So let me go back to, this was about three and a half years ago. And I had just completed a previous relationship. And I thought that that was, person was it. Like they were very close to it, right? It's like they're a hair away and, you're, and I'm like, what happened? I thought that was it, right? I'm, you may be in that situation. And I remember that I was at first a little bit frustrated. They had the qualities I wanted. What's wrong? What's wrong with the scenario? It didn't work out. And something that I really focused on, I had this shift over several days of reflecting on myself about, you know, I'd been dating a few months and how I was really not coming from the right energy in dating. And the biggest thing that I did sitting down was I sat down and got clear on the qualities of the person I wanted to attract to me. And that's one of the biggest things that people don't do is they don't first get clear on the type of person they want to attract. So they're just like, I just want a relationship, just a relationship, anything. But when you aren't specific, you'll get anything. Of course, there will you know, be people that are attracted to you and they may not have those ideal qualities. So I wrote down literally every single quality. And I'm not talking about just superficial things. I'm talking about the belief system, that they're open-minded to growth, that they want to, you know, kind of get uncomfortable, get out of our comfort zone. So I got into a lot of the personal characteristics, not just cute red hair, you know, ripped, <laughs> ripped. Jack. <laughs> it wasn't just the superficial. So really getting into those type of more characteristics, more beliefs, the type of life they want to live. And I got clear, I'm writing this down and I'm so connected to this person being real that I really was out in the world super clear. And when I was going on a date, I wasn't trying to see, well, you're pretty good, this'll work. No, it was like, actually, you know what? I just don't feel that you actually have a similar sort of belief about life, you know? And it, it was very easy to move through different dating scenarios without being like, well, could I make this work? which is what a lot of us do. And did you connect to anything to get those qualities? What do you mean? Never mind. So point two is really that now that you get clear on the qualities of the people, like Jocelyn said, she wrote those qualities down, but it really is connecting to the spirit, connecting to the what asking really God or source, whatever it is for you, to, to us is really all the same thing, but you connect to that source to say what are the qualities that are going to suit me for my highest and best. And the reason that that's part of the first point that Jocelyn made, because the second point is you're not out here writing qualities, and this can be tricky. You're not looking for qualities that are missing, that you see subconsciously or otherwise as missing or void from yourself. So for instance, for myself, I was out there dating and it always seemed like the conversation was if you didn't have a relationship or a girlfriend in, in my instance that you were lacking something like you weren't valuable um, if someone didn't want to date you that meant that something was missing within you and so it really had me start to search out for girlfriends and such that were gonna fill this void in me like I didn't have value myself enough that it was gonna be a relationship that was gonna give me my, my value, right? So that was probably the most tricky part for me to get, that I'm not looking for a relationship to fill a void, I'm actually already not only whole and complete perfect, but to do that work, to connect to that which I am, which is abundant, which is all qualities, which is living my purpose, and maybe not actually experientially, but knowing that's where I'm headed, knowing that 
my the value that I am and then standing inside of that to then attract in the person that is going to amplify and magnify those qualities in me and help me grow further so it's not from a place of lack because when you focus on I don't have value and I'm searching for someone to fill that value not only are you going to get more of I'm not of value but you're actually going to put an unfair expectation on that person because you're expecting them to fill that void that can only be filled from within you mm -hmm. from with connecting to God and connecting to source that's the only place you can get it and it's really powerful what Aaron just said about if we aren't viewing ourselves as already whole and complete we go to a date and we're like you know will you validate me right we'll be like will you validate me if you like me I'm validated and so that's when people start to then settle or try to even have a relationship that isn't in alignment work I've been in that scenario where I needed validation from something outside of me someone outside of me and so I was on a date I didn't even maybe like the person and I'm like really trying to have them validate me it's exhausting and it really deter deters us from the partnership we truly desire so you already are like Aaron said whole and complete and perfect as you are so anything more you want to say? Yeah, about so then the third point really comes down to being that. Like you decide and you know that you are that already. You know that you are someone that's going to uplift others. You know that you have a purpose and a contribution that you are to the world. You know that you have value. You know that you have integrity. You know that you honor others and are service to others. And not each of us fit that, but you, you know that. So you are being that person already that you want to attract. And so the thing that this does is, like Jocelyn said, when you go on dates, when you have the energy that you are enough and you know the qualities you're looking for and you are being that and you are attracting that and you know that it's already come and now you're just have, waiting for it to arrive, the best thing about that is, for instance, here's a great example, when Jocelyn and I went on our first date, she had multiple dates lined up just in that day for forget the rest of the week. There was hundreds of dates that no. she had set up, but she had multiple on the day that we went out. And it was just a short period of time, guys. <laughs> it wasn't like I was doing that for a long time. And when we went out, after we went out, and it wasn't like I had all those qualities, but it was the way Jocelyn was being, and she saw what was in me possible, that she canceled the other dates. And so that is probably the, the best part, is, you, is people waste time out there dating multiple people or dating someone that doesn't fit this model because they're not being this for themselves and they end up in a relationship for months or years that they that they shouldn't be because it's mm -hmm. not their partner so people hold on to that because they say I don't know this is close enough I don't know if there's another one out there but it's it's that attachment and holding on to what's not in perfect alignment for you that doesn't allow that person to come in so the best thing is to be able to shed not because somebody is wrong, they're just not the person for you and you can certainly create great friendships and great other relationships but for this partnership you want to be able to be clear on who it's not so that you can actually allow the person that is to come into your life. Mm -hmm, really and, and dating can be so much more fun and really when you're attracting your mate rather than just trying to be like will you accept me, will you accept me, are you good, are you good, you're truly like I, I know you're in your inner knowing that this partner that I desire is out there it's gonna be a whole lot more fun for you and you'll probably attract that partner because you're a match for them energetically and so we really invite you to take this on write some notes of what your biggest takeaway was for you and your dating experience because we know a lot of you are still attracting your mate which is an exciting time and does not have to be like many people make it stressful and you know oh, I wish they were here and it makes you like not experience life and how full it is. Side note, think just really keep present the qualities and the value that you are and know that that's what you're bringing to a partner. You know, so kind of back to my point too, just wanted to reiterate, you're not searching for support that void in you, but also think about what it is that you're actually providing for another. And that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoy today's Purposeful Partnership TV. Uh, we hope to connect with you further. If you haven't met us more, just like our page, stay connected. We've got your back and we're excited to partner with you in the future. Have a good one.